Hang on to your hash browns and batten down the brown flakes. It's time to rock the house with a very special big breakfast. <laughs> Welcome to The Big Breakfast. It's Wednesday the 24th of May. I'm Johnny Vaughan. Good morning to you. And I am Gail Porter. Johnny, I think you should tell them what's coming up <coughs> on today's show. <coughs> yeah, now, all the usual Wednesday stuff. <coughs> <coughs> Off the news! Johnny Vaughan! <laughs> Johnny Vaughan! Listen to me, Johnny Vaughan! Who are you? What do you want with me? I am the spirit of The Big Breakfast. You've forgotten it again, Johnny Vaughan. Forgotten what? You always forget the special days, don't you? Well, I've got a lot on. I do two hours of live telly every morning. Quality is a lot to organise. But today, of all days, I thought you'd remember. It's bad enough you didn't buy me a cake last time, but today, today is the most important day in Big Breakfast history. Well, you know, we've got a good show lined up for you. What more do you want? Oh, well, I'm sorry, but if you don't know, then I'm certainly not going to tell you. Don't worry, Big Spirit. Of course I didn't forget. I'm teasing you. Have a look at this. Yeah! <laughs> Enjoying the splendor of the garden! We've got 2,000 prizes to give away before the show ends. I just don't know what to say. Say nothing because. Hello? On you, Grant. Morning, you miserable git. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> say nothing, big man, because Wonga is back and one of these lucky, lucky, lucky people, you, you lucky people. He's going to take away one of oh, 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds they're going to take away in their pocket, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, all that and more. But first... Johnny, Johnny, can I do this bit? What? This bit you're about to do. Yes. Time now for Phil Gale with the Big Breakfast News and Weather. You've done it. Good morning. These are the main stories on Wednesday, the 24th of May. The show is over for Hugh and Liz. Turkish murder suspects hailed as heroes, and why anywhere overseas is a no-go zone. The nation's greatest upstages are doing it again by confirming that they have split. Actor Hugh Grant and close horse Liz Hurley have stolen the headlines just as they've done at every showbiz event in recent memory. A statement released yesterday called it a trial separation with no third parties involved. Hurley is, though, being linked to an American billionaire, but early this morning, Grant was filmed arriving at the home they still share. And even though the king and queen of premieres missed yesterday's opening of the All Saints movie, Honest, typically everyone was discussing them and not the film. I didn't even know. Well, I hope they're OK, you know. They were a great couple. Guns have fallen silent across South Lebanon following an Israeli troop withdrawal ending 22 years of occupation. Israeli forces had covered the pullout with air raids and artillery barrages on suspected guerrilla positions. Prime Minister Ehud Barak, however, warned that Israel would respond severely to any attack on its territory. Four Turks accused of stabbing two Leeds United fans have received heroes' welcomes at a court in Istanbul. Supporters cheered and shouted, Turkey is proud of you, at the suspects who say they were provoked and face 15 years in prison. Christopher Loftus and Kevin Spate were murdered last month in attacks before Leeds' UEFA Cup defeat at Galatasaray. They've already found someone brave or daft enough to take charge of the Millennium Dome. The new senior executive replacing Bob Ayling is David Quarmby, the chairman of the British Tourist Authority and London's Docklands Light Railway. And there's new speculation ab ab about an Oasis split following Noel Gallagher's announcement that he won't tour abroad anymore. A new guitarist will temporarily replace him, but he'll rejoin Liam for UK gigs later. Later this year. Foreign fans should blame the brothers' famous love-hate relationship, says NME editor Ben Knowles. Now has a young family, and Liam is drinking a lot again, and Noel realised that he didn't want to go on the road for several months, putting himself through that amount of strain and that amount of temptation. Here's the sport. 
England know what to expect from Brazil on Saturday, having seen them cruise to a 3-0 victory in a friendly against Wales. The world's number one side left it late to stamp their authority on the game at Cardiff's Millennium Stadium, but class eventually told. World Player of the Year, Rivaldo, rounded pins off. Uh, Rangers hero Rod Wallace is back in the squad in time for this weekend's Scottish Cup final against Aberdeen. Wallace had been out for a month. Fellow striker Billy Dodds is also rested and raring to play. Joe Kinnear is expected to confirm later that he loved the job of Sheffield Wednesday manager. The former Wimbledon boss has described the idea as a special challenge. The Hillsborough board, though, is saying nothing. Here's the way the weather looks. Temperatures should range from 12 Celsius in Glasgow to 16 in Nottingham. Eastern parts of England should have a dry start, but elsewhere will get showers. This afternoon, most places will be rainy with occasional sunny spells. Here's a five-day forecast. Scotland and Northern Ireland can expect lots of heavy rain. Northern and central regions can also expect heavy showers, clearing by Monday. And the south will have a mix of rain and sunny spells, with things starting to improve over the weekend. Big Breakfast News 705. Here's Johnny Vaughan. Thank you very much indeed. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Johnny. Are you all right this morning? I am, and what a great day it is. What a, what a glorious day it is. You know, I've got, a, I've got about a thousand people who want to say hello to you this morning, Phil. Do you want to say hello to Phil? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Phil, see the love in their eyes, Phil. Show them the love in your eyes. <laughs> they love you, Phil. They need you. They want you. I am there we touched. go, Suddenly Beastmaster with the news and weather. Do you know what the Big Breakfast Bandstand will be graced with our very special guest this morning? Ian Brown on the bandstand, ladies and gents. <laughs> playing live, not here yet, playing live at 7.51. Harry and the Tent Band, they're over there doing some uh, shallow lounge-style entertainment. We've got all our favourite Big Breakfast entertainers. Why, over there's Justin Pressland. <laughs> We've also got some of our favourite people on the show. Uh, we've got Ben the Boffin, he's over in the shed. I think Trevor Bayliss is also there. You can get Trevor's autograph. Stand a bit back, ladies, from him. Uh, who else we got? We've got uh, Allegra Macavedi. Uh, Macavity, she's on the uh, barbecue. Where's the barbecue? No. Right over there on the barbecue. How about that? Uh, we've got Michael Fuller. He's doing uh, guided tours around the place, Fuller's Tours. Can we see Michael Fuller, Grant? Can you see him through the bevy of ladies? Morning, Mark. I'm I've seen Michael Fuller. I'm going to ask him. Uh, I'm going to go over and ask him how he is this morning. Michael, how are you this morning? Great, Johnny. Yeah, great. Michael Fuller, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, nice derisory applause. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Michael Fuller. <laughs> he doesn't deserve enthusiasm. Uh, we've also got Ashley and Wayne. Uh, Ashley and Wayne, there, over there. Can we see Ashley and Wayne? What a what a we charming. Can looking combination they are. And also Chirpy the Clown has joined us for a genuine bit of old-fashioned entertainment. Don't you love a clown? Yeah. Uh, all this and a visitor's book uh, for our guests to sign in. A genuine slice of Big Breakfast history right there. A refreshment stall manned by two little people. Uh, and of course, the obligatory guess the way to the sweet stall in the capable hands of Miss Great Britain, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I don't know, we've got, we've got clowns, we've got Miss Great Britain, we've got Trevor Bayliss, it's like the 70s down here at the Big Breakfast. <laughs> it really is. Uh, anyway, we'll be monitoring, monitoring events in the garden all morning, but now, here's how you at home could win one of 2,000 prizes we're giving away this morning. Have a look at this. It's our 2,000th show today, and to celebrate, you could win one of 2,000 prizes. Let's count them. There's 800 best-selling CDs, 800 top videos, and over 350 best-selling books. Also on offer are 20 disciplines and 10 TV video combos. All courtesy of Amazon.co.uk, the place to buy music, videos, and books online. And the prize that is the star of the Orient, a holiday for two to one of the world's most exciting and vibrant cities, Hong Kong. Your prize to the City of Life includes return flights, five nights hotel accommodation, and travel insurance too. One traveller must be over 18, and both must hold valid passports and visas. Just phone our 2000 show hotline on 0208 985 all the ones, and we'll give you a number which corresponds to your prize. <laughs> Christmas, yes, it's true. We've got 2,000 prizes to give away on the 2,000th Big Breakfast, including 800 videos, 800 CDs, over 350 best-selling books, 20 discmans, 10 TV video combos, and one lucky caller could win a trip for two to Hong Kong. Whoa! Can you believe it? Our telephonists are here very busy, working away like a bunch of busy beavers. Right, what you're going to do is give us a little call if you fancy a prize. Telephone number 020-8985. All the ones. 
Now make sure that you ask permission from whoever pays the bill. When you phone, you will actually be given a number between 1 and 2,000. In the order you get through and you will win the prize in accordance to your number. It's clever that, isn't it? So don't forget that somewhere between 1 and 2,000 there is a holiday to Hong Kong. Wow! Yeah, it's exciting. So get dialing now. Now it's time to take a look at a former Big Breakfast presenter um, in a moment of glorious breakfast history. Hey. I'm ready. From Zippo okay, Circus, on. and he is going to be up there. Tom, all right? Are you oh, ready? Oh, Chris, be careful! Oh, 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 Chris! Oh, oh, are you all right? Oh, are you all right? Oh, Chris! Oh, Chris, say something! Oh, oh, can we stop now? <laughs> stop now, please! You want to stop? Oh, I'm not a dentist, but after eating, I chew a good sugar-free gum. Fake with me. Well, how would you know? Because I know. You'd know? Of course I know. <sighs> yes! 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 Oh, Billy, yes! There is no need to fake an orgasm today, right? <laughs> Uh, because the Big Breakfast is now officially 2,000 shows old. How about that? How about that? Uh, I'll just say, we are playing Wonga for £2,000, Carol. I know, it's very exciting. That's a pound for every show the Big Breakfast has done. Uh, I would say that Wonga has come a long way since the Millennium Show when we gave a viewer £100,000. We, oh. we gave a viewer £100,000. That was all towards writing off their debts. And this morning, the Tower with the Power makes a welcome return for the 2,000 show, a prize of £2,000. And one of these people out there is going to win it. One of the people out there. Which people out there? If you just join us, I'll show you which people out there. Have a look at this. It's unbelievable. It's like an impossible dream wrapped inside a secret fantasy. Wrapped inside an impossible dream. Why, over here is Justin Pressman. Justin, uh, you've got a wheel of cheapness here this morning. Where is the wheel? The wheel is so cheap, it's not actually here. Really? It's a wheel of cheapness. When it arrives, you, I'll be spinning it, and you can either win nothing at all, a big breakfast mug, a postcard, wow, unsigned, or if you lose, wow. if you Justin, lose, Justin, you get my autograph. How, how big breakfast is that? There's no wheel of cheapness. I here. know we've got the gaffer tape holding my sign up and no wheel of cheapness, I can't but it will that. be I can't here. Believe that. The wheel of cheapness, so cheapness, did, did so cheap, didn't even bother to turn up. I like that. I admire that. Uh, I'm, I'm going over to the shed now. I think in the shed is uh, watch the wires here. It's not only Ben the Boffin, but Trevor Bayliss is lurking in his famous cupboard. There is actually an inventor in the cupboard. If you just get out of the way, you're trying to trap me. Thank you very much. I'm going over here. Here we go. <laughs> morning, Trevor. How are you this morning? Johnny, it's so nice to see you. So nice to What a lovely little haven the shed is. Yes. We have, have we had some fun in here? No, 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 You're such a have. Haven't we had some fun in it? You really thought I was going to start reminiscing with you, didn't you? Unbelievable. Anyway, you'll be signing autographs in the cupboard in the shadow, I understand. Trev's doing autographs. Anyone? Come on, you're lucky. Plenty of room inside the shed. Plenty of room inside here. Ladies first. We've also got, Grant, if you'd like to cut ladies first. Trev, for God's sake, man, get back in there. Get back. Get back. 
We've also got Ben the Boffin. Uh, Shut up, Trev! We've also got Ben the Boffin here. Uh, big breakfast legend, Ben. Morning, Tom. You're challenging our viewers, I gather, to a computer game contest. Uh, yes, indeed. Anyone who's up for challenging me this morning is fair game. Uh, is he any good? Is Ben I any am. good? No, but is he any good? Ben, no. No. Good. <laughs> big breakfast boffin is not actually very good. Do you know what? We've also got uh, Allegra here. He's got the big breakfast barbie. You come over here. Morning, Allegra. How are you this morning? All right, Roy, how are you? Nice to have you down here. Nice uh, are you doing a barbecue on this little thing for everyone here? Uh, I'm attempting to. It's uh, Norris McWhorter alert time. I don't think there's going to be a, a, any way you're going to be able to do that. No, there's no possible way I'm going to do it. We're Look, it's just, try. We're that, try. again, don't you love how the big breakfast keeps you real? We've got 500 people here, all hungry and expecting breakfast. And look at the size of that barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Six oh, yes. That's going to do it. We've also got a VIP area. Do you know what? I'm not going to attempt to go back through this. VIP's turning up throughout the morning. Uh, Grant, go, go, stand on the chair. I'll steady it, and you can perhaps get the VIP area in. Can you Over see there it? Somewhere. If you're in the... Yeah. Do you know what? And the crowd here, the crowd here making quite a comment because, frankly, you're all in the VIP area this morning. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much to all of you for coming down this morning. I know I should say at the end, but I say at the beginning to get you in a good mood for the duration of the show. Yeah. Do you know what? I think we can go for another update with uh, our man Phil Gale. He's about... <laughs> Phil, are you there? I am indeed. Good morning. And in the big breakfast headlines on the quarter hour, confirmation that someone blew it in the Grant Hurley partnership has brought the curtain down on a 13-year showbiz romance. She returned home arm in arm with a mystery man last night. Another split has left Oasis with a problem. Noel Gallagher's abruptly quit the band's world tour amid reports of another row with brother Liam. Noel says that he will play home gigs. Mike Tyson could face another hurdle ahead of his Glasgow date. Opponents in the Scottish Parliament aim to block next month's planned fight with a judicial review to challenge his latest visa. Where? Hello there. Uh, it's not me. I'm Jeff Banks. Hi, I'm Carol Franklin. And this is the NEC Big Breakfast Live Fashion Show. We're going to be looking at presenters fashion, past and present. We are. So first one out is Gail Porter wearing <laughs> Vanessa Phelps. <laughs> Yeah. A very famous outfit. Come on, We're girl. Those wonderful doors to Come open. On. Get well, them doors doing. open. She's slipping into the dress. Now, this was worn on, the, on Christmas Day. Christmas Day, 1996. And she, Vanessa was a very large fairy, wasn't right. she? Right. Now, yes, fairies, say fa so. fairies come in all shapes and sizes. <laughs> this is a frock that says Holiday Witch. Special. Rather understated, I think, for this season. But this is, this is just pure Vanessa, isn't it? Gail, Vanessa, is there a difference? No difference, no difference whatsoever. Okay, you in this is really. <laughs> How much do you reckon that's worth, then, Wayne? <laughs> 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 and yeah, now... Get back to my car. <laughs> Have we got a clip of Vanessa? Have we got a clip of Vanessa? Yeah. Right. Hey, I'm not formidable. <laughs> I think... I always thought of you as, like, a sort of stroppy shopkeeper. Why? Well, I think that's the second outfit. Second we're outfit. At with uh, Mr. Johnny Vaughan. This outfit was worn by Johnny, who played Jeff Larkada <laughs> in Yanks of the Memory, the hilarious tourist oh, based competition. Yeah. show with party organisers for leaving him to be Madonna's famous boyfriend. You could get in there as well. Let's I see. could do. Now, right. allow a slip in because I've got G-string on. So oh, well, well, let's just hold on. Not for morning tip. It's worth about 100 quid, you know. At least. At least. At you least. At quid. least. Okay. No, don't see a clip of that? Of Johnny wearing oh. a... <laughs> 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 outfit, outfit three. We've got Kelly's outfit. Now, it's worn by floor assistant Linda. Come on, Linda. Come on, don't be shy. Oh! oh yeah. this, this was a Get Fruity outfit from the Giant Human Fruit Machine competition. Now, this is, this is a size 12 with a little bit extra for Kelly up there, wasn't it? Thank we you. had to put a few extra inches on the back. But I have to say, Linda's filling it out nicely. And I like it very, nice. very much. Oh, very nice. Worth about 150 quid. Oh, at least. At least. Oh, at, at least. least. Okay. Got a picture of Kelly wearing it? Get fruity, get fruity, get fruity, ah, uh, get fruity. Okay, now on.
on to our last outfit, Zoe Ball, Big Breakfast presenter, 15th of Jan, 1996, at 30th of August, 1996. So we can have a look at this little outfit here. This was worn by Zoe on the 6th of June, to be precise, in 1996. Modeled by Wayne's Models, Catherine. Yeah, oh, and no, this hang is on. Well, this they've known this is... Has been uh, we're going to take a uh, little break for a sizzler. Uh, Wayne there doing a lovely fashion show <laughs> with Ashley Rossiter. Uh, so good, we're going to have a sizzler. <laughs> another West End premiere, another appearance from the All Saints. But wait a minute, for once they actually had a reason to be there. It was their own film, Cockney Gangster Flick, Honest. Might be a cleaner. Keep an eye. But despite all those years of premiere practice, the All Saints hadn't got the idea the stars arrived last. They were the first people there, and Nat was nervous. It feels very different because I'm actually wearing a brown dress in case, like, myself. <laughs> Nick was less impressed at being centre of attention. It just feels like, like every premiere we've been to, you know. We get pictures taken everywhere we go, so it's... Greeting. Venus in leather. And what can I do for you? Looking for a job, actually. Mel had her own opinions about their acting debuts. Nick's, Nick's the star, so Nick's the one. Nick's the one that will be doing, like, Sharon Stone and, you know, she'll be on that one. Oh, I. As for the film, American critics have loved it. British ones have not been so kind. But then the All Saints have always had their knockers. Speaking of which, Honest contains those much-anticipated Appleton topless scenes. In preparation for these, 70s funk legend Bootsy Collins had adopted the recommended eye protection. I can't see without him, man. <laughs> there was a no-show from Shazney, and as far as the girls taking Hollywood, well, Mel had one thing she wanted to remind everyone. The All Saints acting careers? Hell, I don't know. We're singers. <laughs> Neatly put. I hope you enjoyed that, Susan. Look, well, today is a special day for us on the road, too. We've come to Leeds because exactly 2,000 shows ago today, the Big Breakfast outside broadcast was born. Have a look at it. Viewers, enjoy this. For the first time on Breakfast Television, it's time to ask, Where are you, Mark? I'm in uh, Leeds, and there is, sorry, I, was, I didn't know where the queue was, and so I'm all over the place. And the reason we're here is to find the worst traffic jam in Britain, and this is the A, the A58. And uh... Mark Lamar there. In many ways, my forefather, laying the foundations of the now famous Big Breakfast outside broadcast. Uh, for many, uh, we're just feet away from that initial broadcast, and, and for the keenest of Big Breakfast viewers, this whole area, really, is hallowed ground. Uh, later on today, we're going to be doing something of a march, a march to that very location. We're going to be getting up to 2,000 members of the public to join us. We've got a banner. Could you, could you just move, move that way a bit forward, would you mind, just so the viewers can see? That out, stands for outside broadcast. So we're going to get to 2,000 members of the public. Every single person that join us, joins us will get one of these as a memento of the day. There's our first member of the public. If I can give you that. A special day. Give us a nod. Thank you very much. No problem at all. And also, as a finale to this whole broadcast today, we're going to lay a blue plaque at the very location of the broadcast and also a tree as well. So please join us for that on this most special of special days. Uh, that's it from us for now. Back to the house. Yeah. Yay! Thank you very much indeed, Richard Baker. Richard Bacon, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! I know you'll enjoy him every morning. I certainly do. Richard Bacon, you, uh, am I still in communicado with uh, Richie or can I get in touch with him here? I'm not, I'm Richie, are you there? Are you all right, Richie? I'm, I'm very well. I mean, it's not very often you get you get a chance to take part in a landmark broadcast. So today, well, well I'm, Richie, I'm to be frank over. with you, it's it's once every two thousand shows you get to celebrate a two thousand show, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> On that occasion, I've worn my best cardigan. Oh, Richie, oh, you shouldn't. Have. Sorry, Richie, I didn't uh, catch that. Where are you this morning exactly? I didn't catch that. Uh, we're in Leeds, at the very location where the first ever uh, Big Breakfast Outside Broadcast was born. Hallowed you... ground in many ways. Richie, do you know who was in charge of that outside broadcast that day? Do you know who the boss was? Uh, it was it was the bloke who is now head of this very show. It was Eddie Forsdick, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Forsdick. <laughs> <laughs> that man was my father. 
<laughs> OK. Uh, this morning, thank you very much. Richard Bacon, he's out there uh, doing that sort of thing that he, <laughs> that he does. <clears throat> this morning, our 500 invited viewers were all given a draw ticket on arrival. Have you all got your draw tickets? <laughs> They've all got their draw tickets. Have you got your draw tickets? No, no, you I haven't. haven't. <laughs> because you're that side of the fence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Wongatron is out of order today, so we've reverted to the paper and bucket in the classic draw technique. Classic. Uh, but Gail, nice. I offered this to you. But I don't think I should do it because I think John Max should draw because he's been here since day one. He's been here since day one of the big breakfast. Ladies and gentlemen, grandfather breakfast. <laughs> 2,000 shows, it feels like more for him. Hang on, hey, I've got the shot. OK, you got the shot there, I've girl. got the shot. Ah. Yes, it's always fun to pick up a camera. It is very easy, isn't it? It's it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Grant. Is that a good shot? You miserable twerp. OK, <laughs> are, you, are, you, are, you, are you ready to do the draw, John? I am indeed. OK, uh, I'll, just, I'll just get this ready for you. I'll just take that. OK, in you go. The first person in the Wonga draw for £2,000 on the 2,000th show is John. Number. 182. Who is number 182? Oh. Read the name on the back. The name on the back is Patrick Talbot. Do we have a Patrick Talbot here? Oh, that's superb. <laughs> Unless Patrick Talbot now approaches us, we're going to go for another one from the draw. So we get Patrick Talbot here? Phil, you're in my shop. <laughs> the question is... Who turns up at six o'clock in the morning to get a raffle ticket just to clear off? <laughs> Who does that? It's insane. Uh, John, another one, please. You're out. He's out. OK, here we go. OK, who is it, John? It's number 100... 117! And it is... It's you! It, it, is it you or is that your favourite number? <laughs> it is you. OK, you are. Are you? What's your name? K. K what? You in the show? Come on! Yay! OK, there's Kay Matheson. John, if you'd like to keep that ticket safe, but I'll keep it safe right there in my stash pocket. There we go. Mine John, let's have another person from the draw. <laughs> Kay, if you'd like to move to the side, you're a good height. OK, here we go. The second person taking part in today's longer top. Number 61. Number 61. Who is number 61, please? <laughs> Pick again, they cry. I can tell you now, I'm looking for Debbie Barrett. Again! Yeah! Yeah! Are you sure Son hasn't just gone like, fuck? <laughs> it's her! <laughs> OK, next one, please, John. So, two people losing out. No prizes for them today, but there could be a prize for number 101. Thank you very much, John. Who's number 101? I'll tell you their name. <laughs> Jenny Dawson. There she, is. there she is, right at the back there. Come on up here, Jenny, make your way. Well, Jenny Dawson there and Kay, two ladies. Beautiful. How appropriate is a show that really aims itself at the ladies. Here she comes. One of you only, please. You don't want to do it. Under the, under the laws of Wonga, you can appoint someone to do it. Uh, that'll come a little bit later. You can nominate someone. Uh, if I was you, though, I'd go for a tall I'm bloke. A not, not a woman who's even... who's short. <laughs> She's shorter than you are. You're losing a lot of... You'll do it, you think? Are you sure? You'll take on the, 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 the Tower of Power? The heap that ain't cheap? Wonga! Well, you're a brave woman. If you'd like to stand there with... Uh, K in a wonderful pink slacks. OK. Um, do you know what? Here's some uh, Big Breakfast presenters in a videotape package, and that'll be followed by a commercial break. Hey. When you've had a big deal, uh, a massive deal like yes. yours, yours... Of course with you've the... never been signed up for a rather a good deal, have you? You've had to create... <laughs> <laughs> I've had to yeah, sleep with people to get my she's, jobs. She's had to <laughs> create her own company with her husband to get a job. <laughs> How unkind. No, not being very cool. You said it was going to be all sisterhood Pauline, and then kissing. Pauline, we have to face the truth about these things. I get offered work from other people outside my family. All right? <laughs> Thank you.
There's a theory that suggests should we concentrate hard enough on the things we want, then surely we shall receive them. Let's try concentrating on, say, a number for a local restaurant. Good. Now what about a number for a local florist? Excellent. And finally, a number for a local skip hire firm. Concentrate and rest. Ah. Game start. You've selected the new non-applicator tampon with silky outer cover and tapered tip from Tampax, designed for maximum comfort. Style, fashion, trendy. Style, fashion. I'll take comfort, thanks. Stilettos, spikes, platforms. Stilettos, spikes, platforms. Tampax, non-applicator for maximum comfort. The game never stops. Why should you? I hardly ever go to supermarkets, but I've heard that Iceland do some incredible deals. Well, hey, here we go. Yes, it's buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. And buy one, get one free. See that? Private. Must be some kind of club. Something for the dads. Buying a mobile can be a tricky business. There are obstacles for the unsuspecting buyer at every step of the way. The new Mobile Buyer's Bible from Virgin will help you to avoid potential pitfalls and ensure you have the information to make the choice that's right for you. For your free copy, call 0845 6000 750. That's 0845 6000 750. Memories. Do you know what I mean? Memories. Memories. Zig and Zag. Memories. If you're watching this morning, good morning, Zig and Zag. Do you know what? Good news, gang. Dave has emptied the boot of his car. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, we've got 2,000 prizes, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Dave, for that big clear out. Uh, really appreciate that. Uh, but here's Gail to tell you how you can claim one of these. 2,000 prizes! Wow! Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Johnny Elvis Vaughan there. We've been taking calls all morning and we've already given away hundreds and hundreds of prizes. There's books, there's CDs, videos, TVs and a holiday for two to Hong Kong. Oh, yes, exactly. So give us a call now. You know the number. 020-8985 all ones! But make sure that you get permission from the person who pays the bill. Um, so while you get calling, here's Phil Gale with a big breakfast, news and weather. Good morning. These are the main stories on uh, Wednesday the 24th of May. Hugh and Liz grant each other their freedom. Could Chile deliver justice to General Peter Shea? And why Knowles' walkout means a tour de farce? The showbiz world just doesn't seem the same this morning now that those two old staples, Liz Hurley and Hugh Grant, have confirmed that they are separating after 13 years together. Despite rumours linking Hurley to an American billionaire, they've released a statement insisting that the split is temporary and friendly, with no one else involved. Outside the London house that they're still sharing, Liz wasn't saying any more. No, I really don't have any elaboration, thank you. And when Hugh got home later, he only repeated that there are no third parties. Is there anybody else involved? No, sorry to disappoint. General Pinochet may yet face justice. Unconfirmed reports from Chile say that judges have taken a surprise quick vote and agreed to strip him of immunity from prosecution. Millions around the world want Pinochet in the dock to face charges of orchestrating a 17-year regime of mass murder, rape and torture. A New York judge has said that he'll dismiss charges against pretender star Chrissy Hind if she stays out of trouble for six months. The singer was arrested in March for occupying a Gap store and ripping up leather goods. However, her comments on leaving the court suggest that she's unlikely to give up her animal rights work. 
anything to do with this animal issue. To me, it's, it's not just about animal rights. I don't think of it as animal rights. To me, this is more like a war that's going on. It's been confirmed that Noel Gallagher has quit the Oasis World Tour, vowing that he will never play outside the UK again. The move has fueled rumours of yet another spat with his brother Liam and put the band's future in doubt. A replacement guitarist will fill in until Noel returns for the UK shows in July. Here's the sports. With barely a fortnight to go, a Euro 2000 panic is setting in over security arrangements at Charles Noir Stadium in Belgium. It'll host two of England's games with barely a capacity of 30,000. Belgian police and politicians fear the worst after last week's chaos in Copenhagen and the World Cup madness of Marseille. The fact that England are due to face the Germans there may not help. Celtic have stepped up their bid to have Leicester City boss Martin O'Neill succeed John Barnes as coach by the weekend. O'Neill earlier this season pledged to see out the remaining two years of his contract with the Foxes. Here's the weather. Weather looks. Temperatures should range from 12 Celsius in Glasgow to 16 in Nottingham. Eastern parts of England should have a dry start, but elsewhere will get showers. And this afternoon, most places will be raining with occasional sunny spells. In breakfast news, 7.35. Here's Gail. Yay! Thank you very much, Phil. Now, in a moment, Wayne and I will be revealing our passion for the world of fashion. What are we going to be talking about this morning, Wayne? Well, first of all, I'd like to say this. I'm wearing an original Big Breakfast jumper from the 1970s. Nice. Okay, from nice. From the early days of the programme. It was worn by Peter Purvis on the Big Breakfast. Is it Chet Holsey? Yeah, that's thought. it. Yeah. yeah, I know the one. And the... Uh, in our first viewers, if you've got a tub of Vaseline, can you go and get me to run and get it and put it by your TV screen? It will all become very clear in about five minutes. <laughs> now, but we're starting nice. off talking doggy style, fashion doggy style this, this today. Well, we're going we're to have a chat about this in a wee bit because we've got to go to Richard Bacon first. So oh, you just right. give us a little taste of what we're going to Well, we're going to talk about dogs. We're gonna be talk we've got a special beer wench, busty. You, busty. Nice. Something Bucks. very buxom coming Bucks up. Buxom wenches. Coming up. Nice. Okay. First of all, it's Richard Bacon, who's at a place of momentous importance for yeah. in Big Breakfast television history. You with the blue coat, please join the Big Breakfast 2000 show anniversary. Well, we're spreading the word here in Leeds, uh, actually uh, just feet away from where my forefathers stood 2,000 shows ago to present the first of the outside broadcast. It's not very often you get a chance to take part in a piece of television history. Dan, carry on. Carry on letting the people know. Please, kind of... arm yourself with a mug. <laughs> would, you like, would you like a mug? Everyone no. get, you, are you sure? You get a chance to take part and enjoy, get a mug. It, it, it's, a, it's a special memento for the day. What's your favourite memory of the Big Breakfast? I don't have one. Sorry? I don't have one. You don't have one? I guess it's all, it's all been one joyous, I suppose, uh, melee of, of programmes, hasn't it? Do you want to go and stand with the crowd? It's nice that, and, 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 and grab yourself a mug. It kind of reminds me this day of, of when I went to Alexandra Palace a few years ago to where the first BBC programmes were transmitted from. Today, uh, I feel uh, a similar sense of awe being so close to the first outside broadcast. Later on today, uh, we're going to lay uh, a tree and a plaque. And here's some members of the public. We're hoping to get a crowd of 2,000. At the moment, what have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'd say it's about 15. So I'm just racking these up on my counter. Um, hopefully we're going to get that up to 2,000 uh, by the end of today. Enjoying yourselves. What's yes! it, what, what, don't, don't be too loud. It's, you know, it's, it's early. What would be your favourite and most cherished memory of the Big Breakfast? Oh, it's a marvellous programme. Good. Denise Van Allen. Again, again, again. Denise Van Allen. She's... <laughs> Denise Van Allen. How quickly they forget, but nonetheless, a cherished memory. And now, we'd like you to come down, if you were one of the people who took part in that first broadcast. Remember, the outside broadcasts always have been for you, the ordinary people, for you, the ordinary people of Great Britain. If you took part in that first broadcast, come down and see us. Here's a clip of it again. Uh, here is that first outside broadcast. It's a promising piece of work by Mark Lamar. See if you can spot yourself. Have a look at this. So, there, you can see. There, is that you there? Is that you there? Who's had your door flung open? Basically, it was a bit of traffic jam coverage by Mark Lamar. Is that a man with a flat cap getting in there? Uh, so there, if that's you, then please come down and see us. If you remember where it was, we're just feet away from that location today in Leeds. We'd love to have you here for this special of special days. Uh, we're now going to march towards the location. We've got a jazz band. Uh, we've got some more people. Do you want to get yourselves a mug? I'll just clock up three. We're going to march towards that location. Please come and find us. Shall we begin a little march? And also later today, the Lord Mayor of Leeds is coming down to see us as well. Please, if we begin a little march, get the sign, lads. And jazz band, if you want to start a bit of music. So please join us as this whole thing later will doubtless just swell. That's it from us for now in Leeds. Back to the house. <laughs>
Thank you very much, Richard. The spirit is not quite there with them in Leeds. They've not quite got it. Get out there, Leeds. Give Richard some yeah. of your support. Yeah. 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 He works hard, that boy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, during the 2,000 shows we've had here at the Big Breakfast, fashions have come and fashions have gone, but our very own fashion guru, Wayne Hemingway, will never go out of fashion. Thank you, Thank you very much. How are you this morning? You I'm do fine. look lovely. Yeah. You're not slightly warm, though. No, but you've got to wear this original Big Breakfast jumper, haven't you? You've just yeah. got to wear it. Well, it's fashion doggy style this week. And has this book come out? Where? Fashion photographs by William Wegman on Abraham. And we've got some great pictures here. Absolutely stunning so, First dogs. one up. Just look at that. I mean, the thing about the, the thing about Vimeron is they're almost human and they have hands just like just like humans and feet. <laughs> and feet. It's just an amazing thing. Another another picture. Is this book all Vimeron? Yeah, it's all pictures of Vimeron. It's just it's really really good. Absolutely stunning dogs. We were just yeah. saying they're so regal, look aren't at they? That. That, is that fashion? Or is that fashion? That's proper fashion. And then we've got a, a dog in a swimsuit. All dogs should have a swimsuit like this. Look at that. Oh, that, beautiful. You know, you know, I'm not I'm not doing anything, but that that is quite. Erotic in a way, you know, you know something it's slightly of, awkward. Yeah, there's, it's something, <laughs> there's something very nice about it. In fact, it looks like one of our models when, when you see her in a bit. Hey, hey, hey. Now, you but, can actually get some fantastic yeah, I mean, it looks, all looks very nice, but can you actually you buy You can these actually things? buy doggy clothes, and you could, wear the, you could wear these yourself now. I love this. Look at that. A Harris Tweed dog coat. Oh, okay. Note the Harris Tweed label. Wow. So the dog's okay, not proper mind wearing these things, Wayne. Would you mind wearing it? Would you mind wearing a Harris? No, Dogs understand fashion. They understand they? quality. Burberry Rain Max. This is proper Burberry. Oh. Oh. Look at that with the little. What your legs in it? I saw a woman buy a Burberry <laughs> Rain Max when I was in there the other day. I was getting a little hat, yeah. and uh, she Fantastic. was in there buying that for her dog. And this, this is, this is. Now, this is what you really should do with your dogs. You know, when you go mountaineering with your dog, you, <laughs> you, you strap this to your dog's back, right? You make it carry everything. Not like a little yeah. donkey. Yeah, this is what they should be doing when they do, it, yeah. when they do Mount Everest and everything. You should, you know, you should take a dog take with you. Take a dog. You, when yeah, you, pick, you don't need shirkers anymore, do you? You just take a so dog. How much do these things? Are they quite expensive? Well, they're all about thirty quid. And you can get them. You can get them from pets. Pajamas, and they've got a website and, and various shops like Looks Away Canine Supplies. And you can get pajamas, and you know, when you go jogging with them, you take Aww. dog sports. <laughs> you know, you, first aid kits to strap to your dog, and these are all things in case your dog cuts its paw and stuff. So it's all stuff for the, the dog, it's not yeah. for you. And this is mountaineering. Oh, this Nick. thing about mountaineering with mountaineering <laughs> shoes for dogs. <laughs> it's just, Look at that. It's all there, isn't it? That's absolutely perfect, but it's not much good for us. Have you got any fashion tips for us? Well, this this is a, a good thing. It sure Christy Turlington, right? Yeah. She was a famous model. model. Who did she go out with? Billy Joel. Billy Joel. That was it. Did yeah. she? And now she's worked with Puma, making this new a new Arla range. Now I've got to get this. What's Christy new Christy Turlington Arla? working with Puma, making new Arla. Making new Arla. New Arla. <laughs> and these are, these are like yoga shoes, but I actually. Who would have thought that Christy Turning would come up with something quite good? And I actually do quite like them. So are they basically for using while you're doing yoga? Well, I think or they're for yoga. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Does anybody know what <laughs> is? I have no idea. It's a derivative of yoga carpet. Thank you. So well, you can actually get... Go, how much do they cost? They cost expensive, £120. Pound. But, £120? Quid? But I have it on good authority. You could, you could go disco dancing in, in them. In Can I have yeah. a look? The young'uns would do it. Well, they've got quite a slidey soul, so if you do a bit of a moonwalk you shenanigan could. going All on. All them young'uns when they go disco dancing would But then that. again, socks are always good for that. They are. Yeah. Right, now... Not 120 quid. Now, you know that I mentioned about this Vaseline? Yes. Now, now is the time to get it out of the pot and smear it all round the edge of the TV to get that soft focus look like the artist oh, David beautiful. Hamilton. Oh, beautiful. Because beautiful. if this is not a celebratory birthday style, then I'm a balding middle-aged man. Right? right, and no one would ever see no that. No could, about could you ever mean... say that about me. This is a fashion that's been around for a couple of seasons. It's all about ser Buxton serving wenches, and long may it stay around for summers to come. Drinking beer. First up is Anna. Oh, Anna, lovely outfit by Moschino. Top one hundred and forty-five really pounds, lovely. skirt three hundred and ninety-five. Buxom serving wench she is. The oh, yeah. skirt is absolutely gorgeous. Where did you say that's from? It's from Moschino. Can you just what, stick, you your feet, stick your chest out a bit? We're not interested in a feet. I want to have a I want the camera on a chest. Right, okay. <laughs> Come on. Well, I'm a woman. I like to Yeah, I don't care. I don't like. care. This is for the men today. All right, okay. Next breast. Camera, please. camera at one level, please. <laughs> Catherine. Hi, Catherine. How are you? Camera at one level, please. 
Oh, God. Camera back up. Oh, come on. Top by Relic, second hand, £48. Skirt by Liberty, 225 We're not interested in... Look, yeah, lovely shoes, skirt. Sorry, no, shoes. shoes are by Russell and Bromley, but we're only interested in one in thing. It's the, bust, it's the busty top end. You could lift, you could sort of have your pints on them, serve them like that, could you? could. You right. could. that'd be a good barbecue. Now, finally, we've got Adora. And I absolutely adore her top. Oh. Again, second hand okay, from Relic. Done, then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and do you like the way that it sits? You know, the, the fit of that top is lovely. Lift, lift up the back. That's very Look, lovely. Turn we we back forced again. her into this top and covered it with a bit of fabric. Lift it right up. That's absolutely Go on, gorgeous. Go on, show us that. It wouldn't fit. <laughs> you have to wear it one size down. That's the important thing. What, where you did you get it, that from? You get it from Relic, second hand store in uh, just off Portobello. Beautiful. The thank skirt you. by Gisele and the shoes by Nine West. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. We've sort of shot through a whole load of stuff. We've got dogs. We've had buxom serving wenches. It's been very interesting. It does, hasn't it? I've yes. loved it. Thank you very much. I'm sure you have. I think everybody really else enjoyed has. Yourself. Now let's dip into the big cereal packet of the past for another classic moment. Yay! Paul is going to have to call his wife very, very shortly because there could be some news. Oh, we don't know no. what it is. We've just had somebody come. Oh, hey, hey, hey. We've got her live on the phone. Quick, Carrie, can you hear me? I've got yeah. the phone. Uh, how are you, right? Yes. Oh, what's, what's the matter? What is it? What's happened? I've had a little girl. Ah! when you breathe. And do. Hey there, your colonel's got something new. It's my new twister, yeah. and I like it. Remember my twister? Well, now I got a hot new remix, the Zinger Twister. Two spicy Zinger crispy strips to hot you up, fresh salad and tangy salsa relish to chill you out. All wrapped in a tasty tortilla. Original twister or my new Zinger Twister? Don't get your zingers in a twist. Choose it now. <laughs> Nobody does chicken like KFC. Because the internet is such a wonderful thing, MTL thinks everyone should have access to it. So they're removing all the obstacles. To kick off with, with NTL World, it's free. So there's an obstacle gone. You don't even need a PC. NTL can give you full internet access through your existing TV for just £10 a month. And it doesn't matter where you live, they'll bring it to you. That way nothing can come between you and the net. NTL, technology and the internet tamed. Buying a house is never straightforward. I can see you're not enjoying it. There's deadlines. Dan and Hugh have been looking for nine months. Kirsty and I have got four days. Decor. This carpet has got to go. It's absolutely appalling. And decisions. <laughs> Whether you're buying or selling, ease your house worries with location, location, location. Tonight at 8.30 on 4. Amanda, you're going to have to pronounce your, uh, your pr pronounce your last name, please, Amanda. Deep pledge. Sorry. Deep pledge. P p what? Deep pledge. Well, how does it doesn't look anything like that on the board, does it? What's that say then? Amanda Pippodge. <laughs> so I'm very sorry about that, Amanda. Maybe that's phonetically. Who knows? Okay, Amanda, where are you calling from? Leeds. Leeds. Okay. And what do you do? I'm a housewife. I've got a 15-week-old baby. Where are you going? Sorry? Where are you going on your 15-week holiday, then? No, I've got a 15-week old baby. baby. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, this thing is useless. Yeah. 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 More 
magical big breakfast moments there. Yes, welcome to our 2000th show. It's very exciting here. We have got 2000 prizes that we're giving away. All our telephonists have been very, very busy. And one of the prizes that we were giving away this morning was a holiday for two to Hong Kong. And we decided that the 238th caller would win that holiday to Hong Kong. And do you know what? We've had more than 238 callers and we've got actually Vicky Sewell on the line from Guildford. Hello, Vicky. Hello. Hello, Vicky. Can you hear me? Hello. I can't hear you because this is a make-believe. As long as you can hear me and people can hear you, that's fine. This is actually make-believe phone, but it, it looks good. Um, you've won a holiday to Hong Kong. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and I nearly had my eye out. But uh, are you excited? Yes, very. Is she excited? Can anybody? She is, uh, She's very excited. And who are you going to take, Vicky? Uh, my, boyfriend. my boyfriend. Your boyfriend. Well, listen, have a fantastic time. I would chat to you more, but I can't actually hear you. So, um, good. Uh, congratulations. I've got your tickets here. Well done, and thank you very much for phoning in. But don't forget, everybody, that you can, you can still phone in. We've got masses of prizes. We've got TVs, we've got CDs, videos, you name it. The phone number. Oh, to, thanks very much, Ben. <laughs> oh, two, oh, eight, nine, eight, five, all, all the ones. ones. Make sure that you get permission and. That's good. Good luck, anyway. Now it's over to Johnny, who's outside with a, a gaggle of yeah. celebrities. Former yeah. Scotland, now Miss Great Britain. Oh, yeah, we're well, 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 Oh, yes. Out the way, Alex. Honestly, all morning. Uh, hello there. It is the 2000th Big Breakfast, ladies and gentlemen. The 2000th. Yeah. Um, someone's asking me, what is the sound of 500 people crying? You beauty. I'll tell you now, it sounds like this. Are we ready, ladies and gentlemen, for the big You Beauty call? A one, two, three. You Beauty! They're crying You Beauty because they're about to see the 751, a live performance. Would you please welcome Ian? No, oh, oh, oh. wait a second, wait a second. Sense of anticlimax. Yes. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Whoa, whoa. They're off. OK, sorry. Sorry, I'm just oh. building in a sense of anticlimax. First of all, uh, we're going to go over to Richard Bacon. Something urgent's happened. Hang on a second, guys. Uh, Richard, what could be so urgent? Uh, what could be urgent is that I've got a member of the public standing at the door. Welcome back, viewers. Here we are with a lady. Hello. Hello. What is your name? Mrs. Carroll. Mrs. Carroll, let me explain to you. Today, we're live in Leeds today, but we're close to the location of the very first Big Breakfast Outside broadcast. Oh, yes. For us, yes. this is a very special territory, really. Yes. A sense of wonder, I guess, oh, is what yes, we feel. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, a sense of wonder for me this morning. And it, I mean, it's our 2000th show, and we're looking for viewers to come and join a crowd. We're going to get 2,000 people, and we're going to march to the very spots where the first broadcast took place. Oh. We've got a jazz band. If we're going to show this, a yeah, jazz band. Yeah. And look, there's about about 30 people over there. We've got about 1,970 to go. Everyone gets, everyone gets a mug. You, you've watched the show, haven't you? Just told me a minute ago. Uh, just an odd time, you know, rushing breakfast. Of all. course. Well, you yeah. can. Will you join our crowd? You get a uh, mug. Yeah. Well, I think yes. Okay. In the future, when you open your cupboard, you'll, you'll see that mug staring down at you, I and you'll know. quietly muse to yourself. Oh yeah. I was there. I was there. Take that for us, Mrs. Carroll. Okay. I'm going to go now and uh, join our crowd. Will you come with us? Come on. Wait, come on. Let's go. Get, change your slippers. That's it from us for now in Leeds. Big celebration of the first outside broadcast to come later. For now, back to the house. Hey! Don't question it, Phil. Uh, hello there. Thank you very much, Richard. Uh, we're rocking here in the garden because everyone's excited. All right, Ian! Uh, do you know what? Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome, live for a live 751, the one, the only, the man, the legend, a friend to the show, a friend to the nation, a friend to music, <laughs> Ian Brown! Promising, the dolphins were monkeys, that didn't like the land. We 
went back to the water, went back from the sand. Went back to the water, went back from the sand. Should I be walking the beach? Can I be holding your hand? Yeah. No one can judge you, baby. Oh, yes! Ian Brown, ladies and gentlemen, Ian Brown, live on the stage in garden number one. Do you know what? Over 50 people have had the honour of presenting the Big Breakfast, including Bob Monkhouse. Here's one of the 50 members of that very exclusive club. Have a look at this. Yes. Did you manage to smuggle something out of the palace for you? Oh, no. oh, I know this is a bit naughty and I apologise now. Shall I show you? It's, it's, it is. It's rather look nice, actually. No! <laughs> I, 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 She's I like smuggled this queen. out of the no. royal no. toilet. <laughs> Tissue box. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And we've got loads down at home base, from little ones to really huge ones. And look at this! Home base. And look at all this. Neil, lawnmower. Awesome! And under 40 quid. And if you find any of this cheaper, home base will give you double the difference. Neil! Home base. Neil. For everything you'll need this summer. Fire extinguisher, 14.99. To celebrate this summer's European Championships, Sainsbury's are giving you double reward points on thousands of your favourite items, like drinks, crisps, and ready meals. For as long as England stay in the competition. Sainsbury's, making life taste better. of drive time. Forty-two tracks, two CDs, one amazing album. Get cruising. The best of drive time. Available now at Woolworths. Two CDs, $14.99.
HP makes a bacon sandwich. Brighter bargains, brighter bank holiday. Girl. Ultra clear. Armpit. Hmm, nice smell. New from Arid XX. Live at Slane Castle, plus all the stars on their favourite Robbie videos. Robbie Williams, Sunday from 5.30 on 4. show of the big breakfast uh, do you know what I would natter on but it is bang on eight o'clock good morning Gail how are you this morning I'm fine thank you Johnny how are you are you enjoying really yourself enjoying this morning I, know you, you literally... I haven't seen you much because you've been there I've been in there prizes were people guess you literally just got off a train from Scotland and look what happened I just didn't even know I was supposed to be here but anyway thank you very much to everyone for coming down here thank you very much gang in here uh, this is what we got outside is that's that's the, the loose ring of Big Breakfast Friends inside here. This is the, the inner tight ring. Yeah. <laughs> right here. Do you know what? I think we can go over to Phil Gale now. Uh, that's the end of my uh, waffle. Here's Phil Gale with the news, and then we're coming back to the papers, and then more fun outside. Here's Phil. Good morning. These are the main stories on Wednesday, the 24th of May. A glam shock from Hugh and Liz. Noel says no to a tour of duty. And Colombian politics stripped to the bare essentials. The nation's greatest upsages are doing it again by confirming they've split actor Hugh Grant and close horse Liz Hurley have stolen the headlines just as they've done at every showbiz event in recent memory. A statement released yesterday called it a trial separation with no third parties involved. Hurley is being linked, though, to an American billionaire, but early this morning Grant was filmed arriving at the home they still share. And even though the king and queen of premieres missed yesterday's opening of the All Saints movie Honest, typically everyone was discussing them and not the film. I didn't even know. Well, I hope they're OK, you know. They were a great couple. Guns have fallen silent across South Lebanon following an Israeli troop withdrawal ending 22 years of occupation. Israeli forces had covered the pullout with uh, air raids and artillery barrages on suspected guerrilla positions. Four Turks accused of stabbing Leeds United fans Christopher Loftus and Kevin Spates to death last month have been cheered into court in Istanbul. In scenes bound to cause outrage over here, their admirers shouted out, Turkey is proud of you. The suspects say they were provoked by Leeds supporters abusing the Turkish flag. There's new speculation about an Oasis split following Noel Gallagher's announcement that he won't tour abroad anymore. A new guitarist has temporarily replaced him, but he'll rejoin Liam for UK gigs. NME editor Ben Knowles reckons that the Oasis party is nearing an end. It's got to get to the end at some point. I think it's getting closer with every extra stress and every extra strain that's placed on a band who only six months ago lost two integral members of the band. Here's the sport. England know what to expect from Brazil on Saturday, having seen the visitors cruise to a 3-0 victory in a friendly against Wales. The world's number one side left it late to stamp their authority on the game at Cardiff's uh, Millennium Stadium, but class eventually told. World Player of the Year Rivaldo rounded things off. Steve McManaman kept, uh, keeps England's uh, English interest in the All-Spanish party alive tonight as his Real Madrid team bid to win the Champions League final. The former Liverpool favourite knows that a sparkling performance tonight against Valencia in Paris uh, should see him join the England Euro 2000 squad this summer. Here's the way the weather looks. Temperatures should range from 12 Celsius in Glasgow to 16 in Nottingham. Eastern parts of England should have a dry start, but elsewhere will get showers. And this afternoon, most places will be raining with occasional sunny spells. Here's a five-day forecast. Scotland and Northern Ireland can expect lots of heavy rain. Northern and central regions can also expect heavy showers clearing by Monday. And the south will have a mix of rain and sunny spells with things starting to improve over the weekend. There's a student in Colombia who's gone all the way in an effort to get across the naked truth. He stripped off to address a public meeting of the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia and to draw attention to the plight of millions who have lost their homes in the country's civil war. Amazingly, no one attempted a cover-up. And as if his nudity wasn't attention-grabbing enough, the man later revealed that he also owned some very eye-catching pants. 
Big Breakfast News 8.04. Back now to Johnny and Gail for the newspaper review. Thank you very much indeed, Phil. How are you this morning, Phil? I haven't oh, really had a I'm chance to talk to you. Full of it this morning. It's all going off. It is all going off, isn't it? <laughs> have you... Have you... <laughs> Wow, Phil, you've really got into the spirit there. You even, I we, do me back. We even saw one of your hands. <laughs> my, go my goodness. Uh, go. Phil, have you got any thoughts for, or, or comments to make to the nation on this, the auspicious occasion of our 2000 show? Yes, um, just all the newspapers who keep saying, is this the end of the big breakfast? We're still here and we're still... Uh, exactly right, Phil. Yeah! also lie and have hidden agendas, as I find out every day. Do you know what? I can hear a cry. I'm going outside to see if they can hear the cry as well. Are you ready for this? I can hear a cry! <laughs> yes, indeed, it's time to take a look at today's papers. Here we go. <laughs> Sorry, do you feel you missed out on that? Yeah. Do it again. Come on, do do you want it again. the 2000s? Yeah. Read on! Let's take a look at the Sun from September the 28th, 1992, the day the Big Breakfast uh, first went on air. Uh, this is Mrs Geldof's new breakfast show. It starts today, and here is the news. Paula's TV licence dodge charge. Oh. How about that? And I see the, the publicity boys earning their money there from day... <laughs> right from day one. Isn't that lovely to see? Just managed to place that story. Uh, let's move across to the Express now. Boss is latest victim in dome farce. Uh, Lionel Blair, real name yes. Leo Blair, is holding that up. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Robert yeah. Ayling, the yeah, chairman, yeah. resigns as a condition of the Dome receiving a further £29 million pounds of lottery money. It's funny, you'd have thought someone from the government would take responsibility for that, but yeah. it's a private no. individual. It's nice to see. Uh, Peter Mandelson, perhaps, Lord Faulkner? <laughs> oh, no, they're well out of the picture. The Lottery Fund recently rejected an appeal to fund the renovation of the little ships of Dunkirk on the basis they couldn't see what relevance they had uh, in terms of the country's heritage. <laughs> Draw your own conclusions, I'm not saying anything. Um, st well, I am. Uh, star. <laughs> She's blown you out, Hugh, and we told you first. This was a great star exclusive for them. They saw uh, that uh, Hurley and Hugh have split up. It's a shame. How long have they been together? About 14 uh, did, years or something. 14 years. The thing is, if, she, if he hasn't asked her after 14 years... Asked her what? To marry. All right. <laughs> ah! ah. Uh, the Star scoops the uh, rest of Britain's press with yesterday's story that Liz Hurley and Hugh Grant have split, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Oh. All the women want the band of gold. Always a <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Their band of gold, that's all they get. Not Absolutely all of them. Right. Yeah. Thank oh, they you. Do. No, they don't. You're desperate for no, they do. it. No, they don't. Yes. No, I don't. You're desperate for it. I don't. I don't. I got my knees. Are you going to ask her, then? I don't. Yeah. <laughs> Time, unfortunately. Some of the totter you got out there, fantastic. <laughs> oh, yeah. and I tell you, I tell you, what's, go what's, yeah, what's going on in the bushes? The I'm sounds and sights. Lord, oh, Lord. Oh, unbelievable. Okay, Sorry, silence, John. I shall throw you to the crowd. Oh, You'd love that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm available. Do you know what? I can hear another cry. Hang on, wait a second. See if they can join the spirit of this one. It's time now to. Yeah! Absolutely right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get in there. This is, uh, this is a lovely story this morning. Just a cheery one to start. A dog breeder has been found guilty of eating dozens of the puppies he kept in his kennels in southern France. Jean-Louis Lacoste, uh, no relation presuming to the shirt manufacturer, was fined just £300, a tenner a dog. Oh, uh, nice. Uh, Lacoste put ads in local paper offering homes to young, unwanted puppies of all breeds. <laughs> Uh, he was arrested after telling a customer who sold him a litter. And this is big error here. If you are buying puppies uh, for consumption, don't give yourself away with this line. There's just a bit of a tip for you this morning. Don't give yourself away by saying, oh, they look juicy, the juicy white flesh, and make, make a good stew. <laughs> That's exactly what he said as he prodded the uh, thing. The police found uh, skins on his kitchen floor. Presumably that's puppy skins, not Rizzlers. And, um, <laughs> and meat cooking on a stove. Oh, he's really industrious, though. He's so busy, he can't even tidy up. Bits of puppy skin. Doing, anyway. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> of course, everything tastes, tastes like, like chicken, chicken. including humans. How do you know what it tastes like? I was asking. Oh, I see. He's yeah, very good. John, it's John, good, isn't it? if, if this is your chat-up technique, no, no. it's not good. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you're the kind of guy who goes to that kind of aggressive, I oh, know, I'll take the Mickey, no. then she'll love me. <laughs> <laughs> it's poor. OK, here we go. Uh, this, is, this is a very eye-catching opening headline. I, uh, I, I suspect I'll get some feedback from McCrick on this as well. <laughs> Men with gigantic testicles are more likely That's to cheat on... You're talking about me again! <laughs> Men with gigantic... Me, me, they cry. 
Yeah, yeah, it all right, Trevor. <laughs> Unbelievable. OK, men with gigantic testicles are more likely to cheat on their partners, according yes, to a survey. Indeed, indeed. How true. How true. Uh, I can 80, vouch for that. 80 male students at Manchester University measured their equipment with calipers while having sex. <laughs> <laughs> you really wonder, at a university, I mean, what's the, what's the problem between research and just kind of sex offences? <laughs> if you think about this, this is, means at Manchester University they got 80 male students to have sex while someone went round with calipers measuring <laughs> their testicles. It's bizarre. It's like something sort of very, very, very sort of far out Dutch pornography. <laughs> <laughs> really specialist stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the 15% who admitted being unfaithful had the largest testicles, some of them the size of small plums. <laughs> Hence the word. Bums. Yeah, OK. Here we go. Uh, two Jags shock for baby Leo. Little Leo Blair had the first... I'm sorry, Johnny. Can I interject for no, one second? No, no, no. <laughs> McCreerick I can handle, but the two of you together... OK, fine. Oh, OK, fine. That's I'm not as show. confrontational as him, I swear. That's a right waiting to happen. And no, don't handle me, please. Okay, please, okay, John. Okay. Don't handle me. <laughs> Jason, what were you going to say? Please I was help. just going to say... Um, I oh, think it's gone, I, hasn't it? it, it <laughs> I saw that. Yes, it has. Thank you, Johnny Vaughan. Okay. Uh, little Leo Blair had the first nasty shock of his life yesterday when John Prescott loomed over him. <laughs> it's a shocking moment for any child. The Deputy Prime Minister spent 45 minutes coochie cooing the three year old. Well, actually, just rehearsing his answers for today's question time in Parliament. Afterwards, he gushed, he was lovely. But I love the fact that the new Labour can put political spin on anything. Even a reaction of a baby to John Prescott. He says, a political source said, Leo wasn't so sure about John. <laughs> the baby was unsure about Prescott's position on Europe and certainly doubted his ability to bring the green belt back into line. How about this? This is former East Ender Sid Owen, tuned up in Newcastle yesterday. Uh, actor Sid, known to millions of soap fans as Ricky Butcher, showed off his guitar skills. Uh, if you can see a monitor, just have a look at this. There's a bit of an error here. Look, he's showing off his guitar skills. But look where his hand is. Let's just go a tight shot of the hand here. I think we can hope... Look. No. That's not... <laughs> now, look, I don't know much about the guitar, but I know the hand should go below that thing there. Uh, in order to make a noise, I'm not so sure. Uh, now, there are, there are broadsheet newspapers... Oh, Shane Ritchie has joined... Oh, don't do that. No phones off the floor. Red card. Can you just tell Hugh I've got small plums, but I've made them <laughs> Wear, but you know I'm busy. Johnny, how are you, mate? Congratulations, two thousand. Thank, thank you very much, yeah. 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 That, that is how old pros make an entrance. I tell you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> There are broadsheet newspapers. There are broadsheet newspapers. There are the two mid sheets. There's tabloids and there's the Daily Sport, which is the subloid. <laughs> I call it the subloid. But uh, well done to the Daily Sport for its coverage of the death of Sir John Gilgut. Mm. The obituary in yesterday's paper was headline. Do you know what the Daily Sport headline is? Their headline was Butler in Dudley Moore film dies. <laughs> <laughs> Just too good, isn't it? Too good. Uh, street trader. Uh, Francois de Grelier was cleared by a court in Bruges, Belgium, after pleading he only pelted a traffic warden. It's a great, it's a great defence, this. Try it. Uh, he pleaded he only pelted a traffic warden with rotten fruit because he thought the traffic warden was a pal in disguise. <laughs> oh, that's great what stuff. It's a fancy trade. It's funny, because I, I, I bumped into my old school matron at a film premiere uh, not so long ago, and I buried my head between her breasts. Uh, <laughs> just feeling slightly homesick, <laughs> like that. <laughs> And then imagine my alarm when I've had as Melinda Messenger. I can believe it. <laughs> Bit of a downer for me there. What else have I got for you? Uh, train news, just loads of train sleaze. Uh, I asked a while ago, how many ants weigh the same as a human body? Oh. A Daily Mail reader wants to know. Oh. And uh, they get a full answer this morning in the, in the paper. I'm sure they haven't slept since, it's, uh, since the question's been posed. It is 24,975,000 for a 75-kilo man. <laughs> 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 the reason for pensioners' prolonged sexual activity, writes A.R. Godfrey Bexel on C.E. Sussex in The Independent this morning. The reason for pensioners' prolonged sexual activity is not libido, it's amnesia. <laughs> That's a very good point. Very good point in the paper, sir. It takes you half an hour to find it. Half an hour to remember why you wanted it. Um, the other day I started at ten in the morning. It was one in the afternoon before I remembered the, wi the wife was at her sister's. Uh, and then he, he concludes, where have I put my teeth? Okay, do you know what? 
Uh, if I got a last story, this is the very last story. Do you know, this is the, uh, the copy of The Guardian from Monday, September the 28th, 1992, uh, which was the day of the Big Breakfast first show, 2,000 shows ago. Uh, interestingly, the only thing we could pick out was um, a game between Sheffield Wednesday and Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, it says, Mark Bright, Chris Bart Williams and Gordon Watson were all culpable for Wednesday in a shoddy match strewn with wasted opportunities. Um, <laughs> apparently, changed, apparently, Brighty's missed kick caused a shoddy goal. Nothing's changed. Do okay. you know what? Uh, I'm going to do the fun down with the pun down, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Mirror, Hugh Grant lives to regret his indiscretion in the back of a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pun says, Hugh's sorry now. Oh, oh, it's good. Uh, Mirror, a message in a bottle gets a reply 14 years on. Pun says, C-mail. Oh. And the number one, this is Pun Gold from The Sun, September the 28th, 1992. You're all groaning in the box, I love that. Uh, <laughs> what was that fast movement? Did the picture go funny? Uh, for people at home or just for you, Ed? <laughs> <laughs> OK, OK, for, for everyone, the pictures just went funny. I gather it's now sensible. Uh, this is from The Sun, September the 28th, 1992. A bricky gets engaged to the woman he's wolf whistled at for four months solid. <laughs> A bricky gets engaged to the woman. See, it works, doesn't it? it See, it McCurric, that's more your kind of... <laughs> that's 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 it, that's that it, is class oh, right there. You it. know, the pun says, wet oh, your oh, whistle. Oh. Oh. Those were the papers and puns. Yeah. That is Still to come on this morning's Big Breakfast, we have the mighty Wonga. Wonga still to come. Yeah, Wonga. Wonga still to come. But first, it's another Big Breakfast classic moment. Here we go. Nice. Did you get the game last night, weren't you, Robbie? Zoe, why did you stop fancying me? Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to ask you. Because you shunned me. And I was really, it really boosted my ego that you um, fancied me. And then all of a sudden you said you stopped. <laughs> no. What was that? You're just, you're just a fickle fan. I am just <laughs> totally fickle. <laughs> anyway, about the football, Robbie. Um... <laughs> Nothing is softer than your baby's bottom, or gentler for cleaning it than Johnson's baby skincare wipes. They're so gentle you can even use them on these cheeks too. They're the only wipes with Johnson's Baby No More Tears lotion. No gentler cleansing, no softer skin. Welcome back to the Iceland Feel the Deal show, the show that never sleeps. I never sleep, I can't sleep. Every day we're at fever pitch. I mean, look at these. It's buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free. And buy one, get one free. Am I the only one who believes in these deals? We believe! We believe! We believe! We believe. Big Tunes 2000. Finally, seven number one singles on one album. Big Tunes brings you Christina Aguilera, Craig David, Sash, ATB, All Saints, Gabrielle, Chicane, Kelis. You know you want them all on Big Tunes 2000. This is one of pro basketball's top teams. They just lost their match-winning bonus. Styles, colors, and fashion change every day. And so do you. That's why Always has designed one box with a combination of three different pads. The right protection, no matter what your style. The Always Multipack, a choice that's right for everyone. have just revolutionized cooking. This is the Tefal Thermospot. When the spot in the center turns red, you've got the perfect cooking heat. Thermospot, Tefal brings out your best. between you and the big show. He in the came future. out. Uh, Answer listen the question. To what he did. Answer the question. <laughs> Answer the question. Are we going to see a rematch between you and the big show? Our pet fighter on this on this show here. Well, I uh, you know what? Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm 
all for it. chicken running away as fast as it possibly can from a big wrestling man clip there. <laughs> Welcome back to The Big Breakfast on this truly momentous occasion, our 2000th show. As you see, everybody's very, very busy in the uh, phone room here because we've been giving away 2,000 prizes. Wow. Every caller that gets through gets a prize. So we had caller 649 was Claire Phillips from Ilford. She's just won a TV. We've had David Frog from Liverpool. He was caller 723. He won a video. And also our 238 caller won a holiday for two to Hong Kong and that was that was Vicky Sewell from, um, Sewell from Guildford I couldn't really hear her earlier on but congratulations on that one Vicky hope you have a fantastic time keep calling thanks very much Ben get a little shot of Ben there he's sitting there passes me the board bless your cotton socks love right give us a call 020-8985 all the ones make sure you get permission before you pick up the phone and you could be a winner too on the big breakfast now here's Jim. Johnny! Yeah, come on, they're really awesome. Do you know what? Thank you very much indeed. Uh, our next guest is a huge friend of the show. His postcode used to be 90210, but this morning it is E3. Give a 2,000th show welcome, please, to the man, the ledge, Jason Priestley. Yeah. Everyone, can I, can, I, can, I, can I just now, I, I know that we never do this, but let's hear it. For Johnny Vaughn, you rock, Johnny yeah. Vaughn. Yeah. Rock and roll, thank Johnny you, Vaughn. Old school. Rock and roll, dude. Okay, here we go. Your new film is called Eye of the Beholder. It stars yes, it Ewan is. McGregor and Ashley Judd. It's a story about Why a private eye. I feel like I'm on a game show all of a sudden. <laughs> do you, are you getting, I'm driving do it. Do a new film, isn't it? Okay, keep going. He becomes obsessed by a seductive murderess, who's Ashley Judd, the gorgeous Ashley yes, Judd. Yes, the gorgeous. Uh, Ashley who do you play in this? I play a, a guy named Gary who's a heroin trafficker who... Easy. Yeah. Um, He's kind of a drifter. You hear that? A hush comes over yeah. the crowd. He's kind of a drifter. The minute you say heroin in a crowd like this, whoosh, yeah, silence. Know, yeah, you hear that? Right. You hear that? Yeah. It's a character that. I play in a they, movie, folks. Please. Yeah, it's just they take that stuff pretty seriously. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Okay, uh, so you play a drifter who's a, who's... a drifter, fine. A drifter, yeah, that would work. That yeah. would work. It's one of those when, words... When I did would... you get so politically correct, Johnny? No, just, this is what I read in the briefs beforehand. Oh, okay. Said he's a drifter. Yeah. That was in your briefs? Yeah, it was in my briefs, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I always slip a drifter down there before the show. Hey! <laughs> you know what? Let's have a look at a clip. Here we go. Yes! Woo! Looks like your cigarette lighter's run out of gas, princess. Diane. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead and make fun of that no, that's a good too, look. Johnny Vaughn. Make fun of that no, I'm going to bring up these shoes you got that's on. That's a good oh. shoe. I wore these shoes the first morning. That is not morning. a good it's shoe. It's a good shoe, man. It's a good cut. Look, okay, the old school Puma. Do you think that's Dude, doing the it? old school Puma. Come on. Always a quality ja play. Always a strong Come play. Come on. I suppose you like rap on a jazz tip. Okay. <laughs> now, this, this role is a long way from clean cut. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this role is a long way from the clean cut Brandon Walsh. Uh, is there more of a real Jason Priestley to this part? Uh, no, man. It's just another part I played in just another movie. Okay, today is our two. Th Who is the real Jason? Correct. I mean, that's like the big question. Correct. Who is? Oh. Today is our two thousand show. But then I want to. To correct. But then I want to. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Today is our two thousand show. We're doing things a bit differently. Today your two thousand show? Yeah. Wow. Didn't it occur to you? No. <laughs> Not at all. Just thought, wow, seems a bit late. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought late millennium late celebration. Late millennium celebration. Ah, yeah, OK. Yeah, no, it is the 2000 show. Boy, both of us are a little slow See here, see here. 2000 show. Two, big clue. Oh, big visual oh, oh, clue. Okay, OK, got it, got it, okay. got it. Sorry, Ed, sorry, my producer is really shouting at me. Is he really? Yeah, because we've got some shtick to do here, some proper oh, shtick. Oh, oh, are you okay. ready? All right. uh, we've got now questions uh, from the, uh, from the uh, floor in Jason Priestley's celebrity question time. Okay. First question, please, comes from uh, John Simpson, please. First question. Jason, you've been acting since you were eight years old. Yes, sir. Is right? Isn't it time you did something different? <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> To, to, John to, to be perfectly honest, John, it is. Unfortunately, I don't know how to do anything else. Is my big problem. It's all next, I know. Next question, John. I got nothing else. else. I got nothing else. Uh, Lionel Blair, please. Yes, yes sir. Jason. Lionel Blair, ladies and gentlemen, Lionel Blair, who's starring in uh, the fabulous <laughs> Madcap Musical Beauty Contest. I can't Lionel, how'd you always get a plug <laughs> <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, it's Lionel Blair. Blair. Yeah. Yeah. He lost control, John. 
Yeah, I, I can't dog. believe you got to do that. <laughs> do you want oh, a question? Blair. I thought he's got his line dancing video <laughs> in his pocket. <laughs> Come on, Blair. Jason. Leo yes. Blair, what's the question? Jason, this is the uh, Big Breakfast 2000th show. Is this the 2000th show? Is there, yeah. is there anything you've done 2000 times? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> No. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. Quentin Wilson, please. Jason. Yes. Have you ever bought a used car from a slippery used car dealer? Ah! <laughs> no, sir, I have not. Okay, thank you very much. Next question from Tommy Walsh, please. Jason, do you still keep in touch with your co-stars from Beverly Hills 90210? Good question, Tom. That's a very good question, and uh, I will answer it thusly. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, oh, you're good, though. Yeah. Oh, no, no, you no, rock, no, no, Johnny no, Vaughn. You no, rock. You rock. Uh, I, uh, the, the, actually, actually the, the only one I've seen since I left is, uh, is Mr. Luke Perry. He actually came here to London and saw my play, which was, uh, I thought, mighty, uh, mighty kind of him. Um, but that's it. That's the only one. Thank you very much. A uh, question from Shane Ritchie, please. Shane. Shane Ritchie looks up somewhat discertly and turns towards Johnny Vaughan and Guest and says in a somewhat monotone voice, Jason, <laughs> your clothes look bright and the colours haven't faded. Apart from going to see Shane Ritchie... <laughs> please, I'm talking. Apart from going to see Shane Ritchie live on tour starting Oh, it's July. another plug, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! Oh, there's a few plugs out there for nothing, do you? Yeah. What washing powder... <laughs> what wash? Oh God! What washing powder do you? What washing powder do you? Oh God! Do you, Jason? I'm talking. Look this way, love. What washing powder do you? Oh God! Use. 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 What washing powder? You use, what washing Jason? powder do I want? And you were great in yes. Technicolor Dreamcoat, by the way. Oh, <laughs> Oh, uh, you're so cheeky. Okay. Uh, I use a. Uh, Come on, quickly. Daz? Daz is the correct answer. Yeah. 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 I've got no time for more questions. Jason Priestley, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know what? We've got an outside broadcast unit there out there. Uh, when's your film opening, Sadie? Just give uh, me the My plot. film opens uh, June 9th. June the 9th. Yes. Go and see him in it. He's superb. OK, uh, here's, uh, <laughs> here's, here's, he's fantastic, quite breathtaking. Here's Richard, uh, Richard Bacon, he's out and about. Here we go. Thank you very much. Live this morning, close to the location of the very first Big Breakfast outside broadcast. It was here for many of us, Hello Territory, where 2,000 shows ago our forefathers began that first broadcast. We're doing a march with almost 2,000 members of the public. All of them get a mug as a memento of the day. Therefore, have a look at them. That is who the outside broadcasts are for. The ordinary, ordinary people of Great Britain, and many of them sharing with me their greatest memories of the Big Breakfast. A bit later, we're going to plant a tree uh, and a plaque uh, at the very location of that first broadcast. Let me just come through a second. Come here, mate. Walk to the front. What would be your... Keep, keep shaking your mug. What would be your favourite memory uh, of the Big Breakfast? Oh, I've seen Deep Purple live, definitely. Yeah. And of course you, Richard, as well. Of course, thank you very much. Very, you're the first person to say that all day. Let's have another member of the public. Many people enjoying themselves here today. Uh, who, who, do, do you have a favourite memory of the show? I just let the, the bulldog. <laughs> let the bulldog. <laughs> we've got a jazz band. Essentially, we're getting a carnival atmosphere together, and we're very nearly uh, at that first location now as well. Let me just bring you in a second. And finally from you, again, this is the show, is, as you know, is 2,000 shows old today. A yeah. big day for us, of course. Yeah, uh, what, it's what, a big day for me as well. I'm going to be to that. What, what would you pick out as your favourite memory of the show? My favourite member of the show? Me memory, memory, not member. Memory? memory. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Rack your brains. Go back. I suppose, well, I suppose, it's when you look back at it, as I mean, it's a show that you've enjoyed. It's not always important to pick out one single memory, is it? It's, um, it's got to be uh, the, the games that they have on in the morning. Oh, that's they're tremendous that's games and yeah. a lot of fun for yeah. everyone. Definitely. Well, that's it from us for now, uh, with these, the ordinary people of Great Britain, the people whom uh, the outside broadcasts are really for. Uh, join us later when we'll plant a tree at the location just down there of the very first Big Breakfast outside broadcast. Meanwhile, that's it from us, live in Leeds. Uh, this is Channel 4's Big Breakfast. We're 2,000 shows old, and we'll be right back after this break. After the break, it's Wonga. And pull that then out as an angle. 
Now, there's something slightly more sophisticated than your everyday cooking sauce. It's called sizzle and stir from Chicken Tonight. And this is the tikka masala variety. You get two pots, you see. The first spices the chicken and turns it tikka red. One feels like chicken tonight, like chicken tonight, chicken tonight. Then, the second part gives you a masterful masala sauce. Chicken tonight, sizzle and stir. One could say it's a game of two halves. If you suffer from hay fever or other allergies, Benadryl Allergy Relief starts working in 15 minutes. No non-drowsy allergy tablet works faster. Oh, at three months, wow. aren't they lovely? Yeah. Look at the twins. Yeah. And there's the new arrival. Oh, look at the little sachets. Oh. Well, I must say, the builders are doing sterling work on my new downstairs cloak. Don't mind me. Creating the perfect setting for my new stronger double velvet toilet tissue. Still struggling soft. Oh, mind the water feature. But now it's even stronger. Ooh, one might almost say robust. <laughs> new stronger double velvet toilet tissue. makes a bacon sandwich. What have you made, Mum? Seeded batch loaf. All right. I'll tell you what. Why don't you plant these seeds in the garden and grow me a bread tree? Don't be stupid. Pouring down with rain. Charlotte Warburton and her very cheeky son, Baker's Born and Bread. The waiting is over. The moment has arrived. It's time for the competition that towers above all others, Wonga. Two contestants will create a leaning tower of pieces. One false move and the whole column comes crashing down to earth along with their dreams of 2,000 pounds of dosh. The command will soon be given. Let Wonga commence. You know what? I'm looking at my watch, I see the time, and I feel like going, and now! It's time for the last half hour! Yes! And what a half hour it's going to be, because, ladies and gentlemen, we are playing Anniversary Wonga! Like a, it's like a slaughterhouse down here. Uh, it's time once again to face the all-powerful Wonga Tower. There it is in all its majesty. Earlier on, on the Wonga Tron bucket, we selected... <laughs> the Wonga Tron bucket. <laughs> the Wonga Tron bucket. We selected today's anniversary Wonga contestants playing for £2,000 on the 2000s show. Let's take a look at the people who are taking on the tower. There's the contestants. Name, Kay Matteson. Age, 23. Lives, Southampton. Job, auxiliary nurse. Here's player two. <laughs> Name, Jenny Dawson. Age, 24. Lives, Essex. Job, care assistant. Ladies and gentlemen, come on in, Jenny and Kane! Oh, yes. Right, Kate, Jenny, you're vaguely familiar with the rules, I gather. Yep. Uh, are you both going to play or are you going to nominate other people to play for you? No, we're going to play. Oh, you're going to play as well, Jenny. Good OK, girl. best of luck to you. Are you excited? <laughs> there you are. Uh, £2,000, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> £2,000, there it is. Okay, uh, now you've been briefed on the rules of Wonga by the Wonga lawyer, but please remember, new layers must be built by placing bars next door to each other. A player can touch as many gold bars as they like whilst deciding which one to uh, remove, yeah? yeah? You can touch them up. <laughs> but as soon as any bar moves, the player is committed to removing and replacing that bar assuredly so. 
players must not touch any other part of the tower once they're committed to a golden Wonga bar. Wonga is a game of speed. You've got eight, speed. You've got eight minutes <laughs> on your Wonga clocks. You each have a Wonga clock. When you start your clock, your time begins. OK. Kay. Is that all clear? For legal reasons, you have to say, I'm absolutely clear on the rules. Jenny? I'm absolutely clear on the rules. OK. I'm absolutely clear on the rules. OK. I'm gonna Is go that good enough, Wonga lawyer? lawyer. No. Boo! Boo! Yes, indeed, the most evil man here, the Wonga lawyer! I'll keep an eye on him. OK. Do you know what? Let's play Wonga! Okay. Are we going? Are we going our way to a break as we normally do? Should we go to a break, Eddie? Oh, okay. Do you know what we're going to do it now? Normally we go to a break to build up a sense of climax and anticlimax and toy with our viewers' minds. Not this morning. Going to crack straight in. Uh, when you go, uh, I just say you going first, Kate. Okay? You're going first. So as soon as you go, yeah, you whack your button. Off you go. You play Wonga. But when you finish, you don't need to come back and hit the button. No. Sorry, so no. when you finish, you play the button, that'll start yours automatically. I'm not clear, but I know you are. OK, please, hit your button and play Wonga! Yeah. Oh, both clocks are running. Hang on, wait a second, before you go, I'm just going to reset. Dave, come in and reset the clocks, please. Reset. OK, uh, Pete Johnson was it? Pete? Pete Johnson. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Pete Johnson, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Was, it, was it Pete Johnson or just a photon Pete. beam? <laughs> okay, would you like to come back in? Kate, just hit it once decisively. Don't go like that on it. Okay. Once decisively, okay? Yes, you're ready. Okay, here we go. Wonga! 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 Nice, good excitement. Okay, going straight in there. Pulling that out, and that goes back on top. She'll come back now. Just hit the clock decisively. That's lovely. Uh, top, top bar the other way round, please. Top bar the other way round. Just move it over. We'll keep the clocks going. I don't want to cause any complications. At this early stage, it's just eating into her time. OK. Uh, uh, it's, not, it's not you, in effect. OK, there we go. Stop your clock, please. OK, it's fine. I'm just monitoring the clocks. We've had uh, tremendous problems with those in the past. There we go. Facing the golden... Yeah, you can touch up with one... Try and touch up with one hand. Try not to be too brutal with the tower. OK, there we go. Your finances will be stronger if you conquer the Wonga. Oh, yes. Sometimes uh, I just look at this and I think, what a wonderful world we live in. It really is, ladies and gentlemen. She comes, Kay comes back. Yeah, we'll hit stop. Don't stop for a gossip. <laughs> no time for that. Uh, not in Wonga. Uh, I understand people at home have an exciting bed of music. Just to give it that, uh, who wants to be a millionaire tension? There it goes, straight on top. Yeah. Nice one, the crowd <laughs> reacting to that. Very <laughs> relish. There we go. Look at the, the tension. Well, there's someone behind me urging her to stampede down to Dave's basement. <laughs> Things are pretty tight down there at the moment. <laughs> uh, the blocks are packed in Dave's, no doubt about it. But she's removed that one. I'm just going round to inspect for a bit of listing. No, the tower is not listing. That will be placed on top. She'll come back, she'll hit a button. There we go. She's playing Wonga. Jenny comes in. She's on 7.22, just for you time junkies. Uh, Kay there on 6.47. The enormous tension of Wonga, which is why so many viewers worldwide. Wonga! 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 And that'll go on top. They're loving that now. And I think stops it dead on 7. Uh, the crowd loving this. No ladders coming in yet. Uh, how tall are you there, Jenny? That's all, Jenny. Five Jenny's five foot four. She'll need the ladder, I would think, on the next layer. A nice little list coming in there. <coughs> six fifty-seven. She goes in on. Remember, Kay now down to six thirty-five. She did start first, and also ate up a bit of her opponent's time as well, which was a lovely moment. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the pillar will be a thriller. Jenny just taps the drop, and away she goes. Oh. At the back here, John is missing a glorious thong shot. <laughs> which, which I was enjoying the benefit of. I'd, uh, Is it for you, Johnny? Uh, yeah. I don't know, perhaps there's a show that's a shame live TV shut down, really, I'm sure. Naked Wonga would be right up there. In fact, they'd probably call it Thonga. Uh, 
whole new show. Thank you, Ed, for gifting me that line. There we go. She puts it back on top. As I said, there's an undertaker's just near my house, and they play this with coffins. Someone came up to me the other day, they said, Johnny, it's Wonga Nation under a groove. <laughs> it certainly is this morning. Oh. She literally, she peeled away with a sort of a 90 degree movement with the body there. And as she rides up, I think Linton now. Oh, needs to go in the middle. No, it doesn't need to go in the middle. You can put them anywhere you like. In you go. Oh, I just did that. Ruling, safe. I didn't see that. Well, she can shuffle it along. It's too early on in the game. It's not decisive. Please, and this will be laid in. I don't think that was a decisive moment. We've got a good spirit round here this morning. I know there's 2,000 pounds at stake, but that hasn't made a difference to her game unless it falls now. No, that's fine, it's safe. The Wonga lawyer, boo. But on this occasion, it's a rain. Thank you. Going up very high there. Oh dear. The ladder people, Linton and Linda on ladders today, ladies and gentlemen. Linton and Linda. She's, she's going for some good ladder placement. There is a, a four single bricks in a row up the, the middle shaft there. Oh, the, it's, it's nail-biting stuff. You're watching at home, I know you'll be chewing the curtains. Oh, look at that placement. Thank you very much. As I say, careful when you're hitting the button as you go in there. You didn't mess up that time, but I sense a flimsiness in the wrist. Go. This is Jenny now. Jenny, she knew she, where she was going. She decisively met the Wonga Brick. Now that Wonga Brick is going on top. It's in the middle. She's played a straight game and won a lot of fans doing it. Unlike Kay with some more, well, subtly twisted gamesmanship we've witnessed here this morning. Kay now going up there. Just Kay reddening slightly now on the chest area. There's a wobble here. There's a wobble. Wonga, 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 Look at this. The tension now. Even the, the ladder people are sweating. Especially the gentleman. There we go. She jumps down the floor. She hits the button. Good. That's correct. Just to uh, keep you filled in time, junkies. Jenny's on 520, 519, 18, while Kay is on 422. So Jenny's Beautiful. almost got a whole minute. I don't know what Jenny does. She seems to see into the heart of the Golden Tower of Power. There we go. Ooh. Now she'll race back. Mind your feet when you're coming back there. She hits her button decisively one time. <laughs> now, Kay going in. She's got to touch the stack up. She's touching it up, look. Look how she's, she's got these sort of very long nails and she's using those to maximum effect. I tell you what, it is total... It is total shutdown in Dave's basement. Not so the same in the thong department. Where it appears to be open all hours. There we go. Uh, I'll just take him off. <laughs> It's the pile with style, the heap that ain't cheap. The golden blocks, a thousand dreams! Jenny, it's the first all-female all Wonga session I think we've had. I'm just checking that with the statisticians back at Wonga Central. Is it the first all-female final? It certainly is. Uh, well done, the girls there. They were first out of the bucket. She's touching up the block, but I don't think she realises that a centimetre of movement near Dave's basement is about a foot of movement right up at the windy top of the tower. There it goes. One of those blocks really hanging over there, a full, what, four inches? She pushes on, she's back, she hits her clock. That's lovely. 
Uh, it's really looking like such a thin column down there. Look, uh, I don't know if you can get a shot there. John Mack, the most experienced elder statesman of cameramen. It's his 2000th show. The crowd going, no, no, Wonga! Wonga! It really is an incredible scene down here this morning. It's got the atmosphere of a prop <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Well, I don't know if that was uh, a flock of rooks that just flew in here. Perhaps some crows in the eaves of the building. In fact, it was some women in the front row. No, no, the crowd advised. No. No, they say. No, no clues, please. No, you can't. Well, I do a bit, yes. She's on two minutes forty-three. She's just to keep you time junkies updated. She's on two thirty-nine. Jenny sits pretty on three fifty-seven. The tower. It lists. It leans. Oh. People being so swift, but you know what? If she doesn't get this out quick, she's going to go below the two minutes mark. Almost giving away two whole minutes to Jenny at the moment. Time junkies, it's out. It's safe. No. You're going to have to get up there, Kay. You're going to have to get up there. Don't look at me. I'm looking at your farm. <laughs> Okay, can you get off? Mind your leg on the Tower of Power. The heat that ain't cheap. Well, Wonga, it's now the biggest show in Malaysia. <laughs> they love it there. They gamble on it like fury. They, they've tried to fix it over there. There's been suggestions of Wonga rigging right across Southeast Asia. Can I just say as well for the uh, you level junkies, we are on level 25. This take is that level 25 or 26 we're on now, Dave. Dave just counting up there. Dave loves to count levels of things. Um, you see him around houses, just looking at brickwork, counting away. How many? That is now level 25. The highest we've ever been is 29, I think, except for the occasion when the clock broke and we went up to level 32. <laughs> on that occasion, a 67-year-old woman from Bexhill on C1. <laughs> it was a great day. <laughs> well, she's touching up the tower. I would like to remind her, really, that every inch you move down there now, you're getting about a foot of swing up at the top of the tower of power. About a foot of swing. <laughs> it's gonna go! It's gonna go! Take the case, please. It's your two thousand pounds. A thousand, one pound for every show done on the big breakfast. Jenny, how do you feel? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. How about that? She doesn't know. Commiserations, though. Where is? Uh, where's Kay? Uh, Kay, well done. Thank you. Very unlucky. It was a crowd-teasing effort. Crowd, salute Kay, please. <laughs> Pause for a second, I'm just going to get instructions from my producer, Ed. OK. No, I can't give you money. No, and my producer agrees. Uh, Ed, we're going to go to a break. Back in a couple of seconds, still got loads more to come. Well, not that much more, but about 14 minutes more. Do not go away. This is the 2000th Big Breakfast, ladies and gentlemen. Wonga! How do you get used to doing screen snogs, though? You don't. I mean, it, you know, it, it keeps answering the same question. It's... 
Fujinixia is the only film with four colour layers instead of the usual three, so you can be sure that your pictures are incredibly lifelike. Oh. Fujinexia, it's foolproof. This bank holiday, save at the Curry Summer Sale. It's starting now with massive new reductions. Check the press and get the facts. Now, new from Maybelline, a long-wearing lip color that won't dry your lips. Introducing Hydra Stay Lip Color. It's a new time for lipstick. Maybelline New York has extended wear with hydrating care. A blend of pigments and moisture with an advanced color bond complex that wears for hours and hours and won't dry your lips. In great shades like dreamy, saucy, sexy. It's about time lips had it all. New Hydra Stay Lip Color. Maybe she's born with it. Did you see the match last night? Oh, it's poetry, man. Football. It's all they ever talk about. I see you've bought some utterly butterly. Honestly, they just go on and on. I love it on crumpets and toast and French bread and scones and bagels and bats. Then they spend hours glued to it on telly. I love watching it dribble down the side of a hot jacket potato. He feeds it through, eh? Oh, what a Sad. It's the taste that drives you utterly butterly. On my skin, this sensation. What if it could last? Now it can with Hydra Fresh from L'Oreal Clinique. A cool, non-greasy, hydrating gel cream. It's pure moisture and freshness for your skin with vitamins and minerals. So fresh, so light, it just melts in. Hydra Fresh. Give your skin a burst of fresh moisture that lasts. Go ahead. Hydra Fresh from L'Oreal Clinique. L'Oreal, because I'm worth it. to Sarah Cox. She always says hello to us on our radio show. Uh, you were invited down here, Sarah, as indeed were you, Chris Evans. Uh, but we both thought you, we all thought you, you work in the mornings. Um, <laughs> do you know what? We've already given away £2,000 this morning. No, because I heard on his radio show he's complaining he wasn't invited down here, but we kind of thought, you know. We've already given away £2,000 this morning when the mighty tower toppled. It doesn't stop there. We're giving away prizes throughout the morning. We've got the, Here's the £2,000 here with the winner. How, oh. Just tell us. How tense is it when you're actually playing Wonga, when you're facing the, the Tower of Power, the heap that ain't cheap? Very, very. <laughs> don't realise how tough they're actually stuck in. You know, it's all tight. They're wedged it's in tight, tight, aren't they? Yeah, very tight. Did you, did, you, did you have trouble with uh, Dave's basement this morning, right down? Does <laughs> it look quite packed down in Dave's? Long did you my phone? Okay. And Johnny, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I think the whole nation enjoyed you yeah. this morning. Aren't they? Listen, congratulations to the winner there. I just want to say quickly, Shane Ritchie, you've got an announcement to make about your career. What is it? Oh, no, I will be touring the country from July. Oh, come on, Check no, please. OK, go on. Check local press for details. Thank you. Back to okay. you, Johnny. Thank you very much, Shane. Uh, you're right, that was very relevant to this morning's show. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. You, you conned me there. Uh, do you know what? I think we can go to Gail, because there's, there's also... Uh, I was talking about Dave. Dave has emptied his car boot. I don't know if you can see in the kitchen. Can you see in the kitchen? Uh, there's, look, Dave's emptied his car boot. Look what he managed to get out of that. Uh, he's got the biggest... 
He's got the biggest boot in Harpenden, and there it is <laughs> on display. Do you know what? I think we can go over to Gail Porter, who's going to give you details of how you can win one of those 2,000 prizes, one for each show. Oh, hello, Johnny. Yes, I'm in the phone room, and this morning we have given away hundreds of prizes. We've given away CDs, televisions, and also a holiday for two to Hong Kong. But there are still hundreds of prizes left, so you can still phone in until 10.30 this morning. The number is still the same, 020-8985, all the ones. Oh, Make sure that you get permission. As I say, we've got loads of prizes left, CDs, videos. So get dialing. 10.30, the line's closed. Now it's time for us to go out and meet Richard Bacon for the final time this morning. Richard, thank you very much. Thank you. Don't need to cheer, just wave the mugs. That's what the viewers want. Uh, yeah, we have stopped, essentially, where it all started. We have marched this morning to the very point where 2,000 shows ago, the first big breakfast outside broadcast was transmitted from. I'm here with members of the public, and we're going to mark this spot by planting a tree, and we're going to put a plaque as well, uh, essentially making a shrine to this hallowed, hallowed turf. Uh, now, though we have a special guest with us who's going to make a speech, um, ladies and gentlemen, again, I'd ask you for a dignified applause. It's not a pop concert, you don't need to cheer, but a special applause for a special man. Ladies and gentlemen, we're joined here today uh, by none other than the Lord Mayor of Leeds, Mr. Bernard Ather. Bernard Ather. Hello, Bernard. Hi there. Do you want to take your soapbox? I take my soapbox out, yes. Bernard, you're gonna, I'm going to plant the tree whilst you make a speech. I think that yeah. whilst you make this speech, our viewers are also going to see some clips of that first ever Big Breakfast Outside broadcast. Here's your speech. If you want to take the microphone, and I'll begin planting the tree. Bernard, everyone. All right, thanks. Well, according to this, it's hard to believe that 2,000 shows have passed since the first magical moment. Back then, they couldn't have dreamt that their simple coverage of a traffic jam out here would have become the yardstick by which almost all future television outside broadcasts have been measured. It's a little known fact, and I'm not surprised, that the producer of that early transmission is now ahead of the big breakfast. His presenter continues to enjoy, so he says, a distinguished career. But it's not them we wish to thank you today. It's you, the ordinary people of Leeds, and indeed the country, who continue to make the outside broadcasts as special today as they were back then. Thank you, Bernard. And that's you we're thanking there as well, the ordinary people of Great Britain. It's been a special day. We've planted the tree and we have a plaque. Thank you for joining us here. Okay. okay. That's it. That's it from us with... Do you mind if I put my arm on your shoulder? Thank you. That's it from us with uh, the Lord Mayor of Leeds and a jazz band. This is Channel 4's Big Breakfast. It's a big, big day for us. We're 2,000 shows old and we've got a bit more to come after this break. And he's been in there for about an hour. So um, obviously it means a lot to him, this, this disco. You know, I can't do anything with my hair though at the moment. Could you do it for What's me? What's wrong with it? It's just not very, I need some mousse in it or something. You smell nice. Thank you. What's that? It's just my body gel. Calm down. Excited? Mm hmm. Well, well, not really, you know. Girl, armpit, ultra clear, stays clear. New from Arid XX. just revolutionized cooking. This is the Tefal Thermospot. When the spot in the center turns red, you've got the perfect cooking heat. Thermospot, Tefal brings out your best. Girl, ultra clear, armpit. Hmm, nice smell. New from Arid XX. Value is a serious business with us. Half price vitamins at Superdrug. Real beauty is the price. Thanking people. I'd like to start with thanking you, Gail, I'd for like joining to start me this with morning. Thanking you for letting me join you this morning. Uh, but a big hand, please, for all our guests this morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, 
enjoyed yourself. Quentin, I understand you've got a new website you're launching. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving up top gear. Yeah, okay, thanks, I love that. I'd like to thank also, we'd like to thank all this lot here. Thank you very much, Gary. We'd also obviously like to thank. Uh, Ian Brown for performing this morning. That Is was a gone? sterling performance. I, I think he's chipped off. He was lurking around, but thank you very much. Ian Brown, ladies and gentlemen. I think we should also thank the crew this morning. Yeah, I'd really like to thank the crew. They've done yeah. a fantastic job this morning. We've had the their crew, hands full this morning. All the people in the box. Yes. All the people who assembled that Wonga Tower of Power. But most of all, the people who make it happen every day are loyal Big Breakfast crew. Please, audience, give it up for the Big Breakfast crew. Yeah.